Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will start designing this pop-up using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So this is how it works. We can see that we have this pop-up displayed over here and we also have this chart over here. And if I hover over this, we can see the labels are displayed over here and also the value. And uh, we have all the labels over here as well. And then over here we have this text. And then we have this close button over here and uh, we also have a hover effect. And if I click on this close button, we can see that the pop-up disappears. And then we have this button called display the stats and if I click on that, we can see that the pop-up is displayed once again. So this is what we're going to design in this video. Now I will split this video into two parts where in the first part we will write the HTML and also add this chart. And then in the next part we will write the CSS and make it look like this. And we'll also add some JavaScript to display and hide this pop-up. And one more thing I have to mention is that this is responsive. So if I just open this browser in a small window, here we can see this is completely responsive. We have a different layout over here. We have this chart over here at the top and the text at the bottom. And if we increase the width, we can see we have a different layout. So let's get started. Right here I have opened up this folder called popup in VS Code. And let's start by creating an index.html file. And we also need to have a CSS file, so let's create a new file. And I'll just name it style.css. And uh, let's start with the index.html file. Now in VS Code you have the shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab. And you will have this basic HTML5 code. And I'll just link the CSS file over here, so I'll just type link and press tab. And here in the HDF I'll just type style.css. Alright, first of all let's create a division with the class of popup container. Now in this we need to have a heading. So let's create an S3 and let's type popular game engines. And then we need to have this chart and this text over here. So for that we'll create a division with the class of pop-up content. And in that we will have the chart. So for the chart I'll just create a division with the class of chart container. And in here I'll just type chart for now. Now let's open this in our browser and let's see how it looks. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. And once you do that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And now we can see our design is displayed over here in the browser. So here we can see we have the heading and the chart displayed over here. And the next thing we need to have is this text over here. So I'll just copy this. And let's go back. And below this chart container division, let's create a division with a class of pop-up details. And here we just paste the text. So here we can see we have all the content displayed over here. Right now let's create this close button. So let's go back. Let's go outside this pop-up content and here we'll create a division with the class of close button. And here we will add the close image. Now we're going to get the close icon from this website over here called heroicons.com. So I'll just search for close. And here we can see we have all these icons over here. Let's select this one and let's click on copy SVG. And let's paste the SVG over here. And now we can see the close button is also displayed over here. But it is too large. But we will style it using CSS later. Right now the next thing we will do is we will add this chart. Now for this chart we are going to use a library called chart.js. So you can just google for chart.js and you'll find this website called chartjs.org. So let's go to the website and let's click on get started. And here we can see a guide on how to get started with chart.js. So here we can see the first thing we need to do is create this canvas and then we need to add this script and uh, that's all. So let's copy this canvas from here. And let's paste it over here inside the chart. So here we have created this division with the class of chart container. So in place of this chart, I'll just paste the canvas. And I'll just remove this height and width. Now the next thing we need to have is the script. So I'll just copy this script. And I'll just paste it over here inside the HTML just before the body ends. So I'll just paste it over here. Now the next thing we need to do is get the CDN. So let's go over here to this link called chart.js CDN. And here you can find the CDN link. So let's click on this button to copy this link. 
and uh, let's click on copy HTML and uh, let's paste it over here just before the script tag right now let's go to our website and let's see what we have so here we can see we have this chart displayed over here and this is a bar chart we have to change this to a pie chart so let's go back to our HTML and let's make some changes over here now if we go over here to the script we can see that we have this option called type and it is set to bar so we'll just change this to pie and now we can see we have a pie chart now the next thing we need to do is we need to change all this data so let's go back and here we can see the labels over here so let's change the labels to the labels that we want over here so we need to have unity game maker godot unreal and libgdx so let's go back and uh, let's add that over here so here i'll just type unity and then we have game maker and then we have godot and then we have unreal engine and then lastly we have libgdx and that's it we don't need to have this data over here now the next thing we need to do is change this data so I'll just change the unity data to 20 and uh, then for game maker I'll just change this to 15 you can change these values based on the stats that you have right here I'll just type 13 for Godot and uh, then for Unreal Engine, I'll just type 5 and I'll just type 2 for libgdx. And then the next thing is the background color. So I'll just remove all of this and let's add our own colors over here. And we don't need to have any border, so I'll just remove this border. And here inside the background color, let's add the colors that we need. So the first color that we need is F40076. This is going to be the first color. Now let's add the second color. So I'll just type comma and here I'll just type 3D348B. So this is going to be the second color. Now let's add the third color. The hex value of the third color is 44FFD1. And uh, let's add the fourth color. And for this color we have F75C03. And then for the last color, we have FCA311. So these are all the colors that we need. Now we can see we have this border over here between each of these colors. So we don't need to have any border. In our original design, we can see that we don't have any borders. So let's remove the border. So here I'll just type border width and set it to zero. And now we don't have any borders. And that looks all right. Now the next thing we need to do is we need to remove all these lines all these axes over here we also have these numbers written over here so we need to remove that as well in our design we can see that we don't have any of those so let's go back and uh, if you scroll down we can see that we have this option called scales and in that we have this code written over here and all this is responsible for these lines so let's remove these options from here and now let's go back and now we can see that we don't have any lines any axis and everything looks all right now the last thing we will do is we will add this button so let's go back and let's go to the top and here we'll create a button and uh, here for the text I'll just type display the stats and we'll also give it a class so that we can style it using CSS so I'll just type stats btn and here we can see we have this button or right, that's it with the HTML of our pop-up now in the next video we will add the CSS and make it look like this and we'll also add some JavaScript to hide and display this pop-up so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day